Uh, I wanted to make a video, uh, at least posting the updated distribution and announcement for the Defiance funds. Um, so before I do that, I wanted to, um, well, I was looking at the website. Oddly enough, I do all of my videos on my phone. Well, most of them on the phone via landscape. Now, if you look, landscape doesn't show the yield, which sucks. So if I do this, hopefully I'm still recording. See, the distribution rate is 56.94%. I go like this and it's gone. So I don't know, that's, that's a big issue, cause especially for people who record on their phone like me or view everything on their phone. Um, but anyway, I have the yield. Well, see, it pops up, boom, 50. All right, so there it is, 56.94%, all right? I don't even know if that's updated with the new uh, distribution payment, but anyway, I thought that was messed up. So real quick, um, let's go to, the, uh, to what they paid because that's what you guys care about. So the Defiance funds, first of all, real quick, they, they have three funds that pay, you know, really, really high yields. And those are the main ones um, that we always talk about. That's QQQY, JEPY, IWMY. And how do they pay such high yields? Well, they do daily options. They sell puts on the different indexes uh, that you'll see on the screen. QQQY sells puts on the NASDAQ. JEPY sells puts on the S&P. IWMY sells puts on the Russell. Uh, and then we have Tress, which, you know, again, that's a treasury ETF. Uh, I believe they sell, I think they sell calls on TLT. Um, and then there's Spy T, which, again, I, I made a whole video on that. So go check it out. Um, I haven't made a video on Tress. I, I actually, I probably should. Anyway, so let's see what they paid. I made an estimate video uh, yesterday uh, during my lunch break and. It was pretty quick and pathetic, but I think people like that. It was just quick and to the point. So, again, let's just try to stick to that scenario. So, anyway, the April payment for QQQY is $0.79. Cents. I had estimated $0.75, cents, um, so close enough. However, you know, the payment is a penny less than the prior month. So, again, people are probably still going to be happy. JEPY, also a decrease from last month. They're going to pay $0.55. Cents. I thought they'd pay $0.50 cents based on what they made, but either way, all good. IWMY has decided to keep it over a dollar. You know, as expected, they paid a dollar seven. My guess was a dollar five. Close enough. All good. TRES, I was kind of way off here. I thought they'd pay $0.23, cents, which is a little less than last month. But big decrease from last month. They paid $0.17. Cents. Uh, that's a 34% decrease from the prior month. That's not good. Spy T, first month, guess what? I got it right, 34 cents, whoopie doo, right? Anyway, so uh, those, um, if you want to see what the actual yields are now, I go to current yields. Again, assuming I picked up the proper formula, I'm taking cell Y, which is the April actual. I'm multiplying it by 12, and then I divide it by the current stock price. So QQQY yields 56%, JEPY yields 37%, IWMY yields 71% and TRESS yields 11.49% and SPY T, as expected, 20%. So it looks like, again, that's right on their like main thing. So if you go to their website for you know SPY T, that's like their thing, it's 20%. Boom, first words, first sentence, 20%. So that's going to be easy to predict going forward. You know, they should, for the most part, pay 20% every single time. And that's 20% annualized, obviously. So. Anyway, that, those are the numbers. Um, so today is declaration date, even though they announced last night. So if we go to the distribution schedule or the date schedule here, again, today is March 28th. Declaration date was today, even though it was last night. X dividend date is 4-1. <coughs> Tomorrow's a holiday. Tomorrow's the 29th. And then Saturday, Sunday, 30th, 31st. So Monday is April 1st. So X dividend date is Monday, which is the next trading day. So technically, in order to qualify for any of these five distributions, you have to own the shares today and you have to hold it through the close. If you sell it on 4-1, if you sell it on X dividend date, that's fine. Although that doesn't make any sense because, you know, it's pretty much a wash at that point. But you just have to own it today, um, again, through the close and everything. 
you know, up until uh, Monday, which is X dividend date, because then obviously the shares will drop by that price, uh, plus or minus movement in the stock or in the ETF, and then, you know, go from there. So expect a drop, a big drop on Monday, X dividend date on all of these funds. My plan is I'm going to buy these funds on X dividend date. Well, all of them except Tress. I'm definitely going to buy QQQY, JEPY, and IWMY on X dividend date. And then guess what? If the day after X dividend date is red, then I will consider buying again. And if the day after the X, you know, two days after the X dividend date, it's still red, meaning it's basically three days in a row, it's red, then I'll buy again. Why not? So again, that means it's at the cheapest point of that month. And then guess what? You know, once they start making money, they're going to build it up and build it up and build it up. So I'd like to get it on the bottom because I, I consider each month like a redo. Um, you know, so again, so it, it's so here's like QQQY again. They're going to pay 79 cents. <coughs> so I'll, we'll start over on X as of X date and we'll go from there. Uh, I, I'm not able to update the summary yet because we don't know how much premium income they have made because I always go up to the declaration date, okay? I include all income up to the ex declaration date. Since declaration date is today and obviously the market's still open, I can't update those numbers until the end of business day today. So I will cover the summary part on my Sunday uh I was going to say show, but Sunday video for the Defiance funds, okay? And then we'll see what it looks like. Again, they did not, in all cases, they did not. Actually, let me check Spy T. Spy T made, oh, nice, 36 cents in, in NAV appreciation, and they're paying 34. So I was about to say none of these made enough, but Spy T, pretty damn good. Uh, the unfortunate part, if it drops by 34 cents, it may be uh, still above my average. I don't know. We'll have to check it out on next dividend date. So like I said, I'll, I'll, explain, I'll explain this summary page on Sunday once I, ha once I have the new numbers. And I'll give you the, the breakdown and everything. So, and then we'll go from there. So uh, that's basically it. The, that's the announcement on all, all of the funds. Again, in all cases, except Spy T, they did not make enough. Again, we're going to count deck date, but QQQY, I'm showing NAV appreciation wise, nine cents a share for the month. JEPY made 23 cents a share. IWMY made 60 cents a share. TRES lost money per share. And then SPY T, you know, they made 36 cents uh, per share. So, so anyway, that's, that's the, that's the update. You know, for these funds, if you guys haven't, by the way, um, Max Convexity interviewed Jay Petrocelli. Really, really good interview. So go check it out. If you haven't, I posted it via YouTube post and I shared the link. Um, he did a really good job. Max is like the options guy interviewing Jay, who's the real, the king options guy. So it was a pretty good time. Um, so like I said, go check that out if you want. But anyway, that's the update for the payment uh, information. Um, so happy declaration date, Defiance holders. And um, as always, guys, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This video is for fun and entertainment. So if you had fun, you're entertained, just hit the like button. And um, yeah, that's it. I got to go. Have a good one. Later.